Hello everybody. Um, today I want to do a little um, reflections on this YouTube experiment again. I did uh, a little bit of that uh, when I hit about 25 videos um, and now I'm up to almost 50 and I wanted to just take a few minutes to uh, reflect and think about um, how it's gone so far. Um, and this is just going to be a straight up uh, vlog episode. This is really just for my own benefit, but I'm going to throw it up there anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I've done, uh, I think, 48 videos so far. This will be number 49 um, over 15 weeks. So I started at the very end of January this year, um, and I've averaged about just over three videos a week for that time. Um, now I have noticed I've gone through uh, two distinct slumps in that time. Um, and right now I'm kind of going through another one, just kind of a creative dry spell, I guess. Um, I've, you know, started out doing mostly just this talk to the camera, sit, talk to the camera and, um, use it like a, a journal, um, written journals I've never been able to do, but the video is, um, in some ways much easier to do. Um, so I started doing that and then, um, I decided I'd, Give a try to doing some uh, video game uh, let's play style videos um, that gave me an opportunity to learn some more about uh, the video creation process screen capturing encoding all that kind of stuff um, which has been very interesting and, and good for me to learn um, and I you know I started doing that with Minecraft and I felt like that kind of played out I jumped into SimCity did that for a while. I feel like that's kind of played out now as well. Um, uh, and then um, I guess I don't have any other game videos. I think I put maybe one or two other ones in there. Um, but this is all kind of just a, a learning process for me. This is um, trying to figure out how this medium works. Uh, what it's good for um, and specifically how it can be good for me um, what kind of projects work well with it for me you know what can I get out of it um, is it going to be an effective way for me to share some of my creative projects with uh, with other people um, and I think after 50, 50 videos the the jury is still out on that um, I'm undecided uh, I think there's still um, quite a bit to learn, however. Um, I will say one thing, um, that making uh, gameplay videos is so much work, and um, I have huge respect for all those people out there who do that on a daily basis. Um, you know, people like Sean Plott or um, uh, Zasuma with Minecraft. Um, or Corrales with Minecraft and SimCity and um, it just takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time of prepping in game to get the game to a state where you want to record uh, then it takes time to record then it takes time to do your editing um, uh, you know if you want to make uh, an intro or add music or narration then it takes time to encode then it takes time to upload um, and you know, to do one, two, three videos in a day, that could easily be all day um, with those types of videos. Um, you know, especially for more complicated things. You know, I've been playing Kerbal Space Program lately, and uh, you know, if I wanted to do a video of that, there's just so much, there's so much to it. Um, so much time has to be spent, you know, designing and creating your spacecraft, first of all. Um, and then there's lots and lots of time involved in getting your, your craft into orbit and um, you know trimming your orbit out to be what you want and rendezvous take a long time um, you know and so f for those sorts of videos it could easily be all day to produce one or two videos um, so so I, I now kind of understand from behind the scenes how this can be a full-time uh, endeavor to do this stuff um, so, uh, I guess just the last thing to think about quick, I want to keep this video short, um, 
is how to gauge how I'm doing. Um, I have almost no viewers and I don't know, maybe one subscriber. Um, but I'm okay with that at the moment. Um, I have specifically not uh, done anything to promote my videos or to spread them around. You know, I haven't connected my Facebook account. I did connect my Twitter account, but um, I haven't shared my Twitter account with anybody, uh, a few people, but um, haven't shared that either. Uh, and I really haven't told any of, uh, you know, my friends or anything about these videos. Um, you know, this is a very, uh, this is a very public display of me and that's kind of uncomfortable. Um, and, and that's part of the reason I'm doing this is, is to, you know, push the boundaries and, and do some experiments with, um, with this stuff. Uh, but I feel like this is very, very rough still. Um, you know, 50 videos in, I've learned a lot, but what I'm doing is still very, uh, I feel like it's very sloppy. There's still a lot of production type of stuff that I need to learn, you know. Um, just how do I communicate to the camera effectively? You know, what do I do with my hands? Do I take a drink of my coffee while I'm sitting here? Do I, um, where does the microphone need to be sitting on my desk? Uh, Am I a person who just rambles a lot and so I need to, you know, record 15 second segments and then, you know, uh, edit all that together afterwards? Um, you know, that's all stuff that I need to learn. Uh, I also need to learn, you know, how, how, is my per how does my personality work with video? Um, you know, some people are just very charismatic. They get on camera and they make you smile and make you laugh um, and they draw you into whatever they're doing. Um, I don't know that that's me. I think I'm a much more calm, slow-paced, analytical kind of personality. And that maybe just doesn't really work very well on video. So um, although Jamie on the Mythbusters, he's kind of like that, isn't he? He's very deadpan and not very entertaining. He still has a, uh, <laughs> a television show. Oh, well. Um, so maybe there's hope for me. Uh, anyway, that's that's kind of where I'm at. I'm in this kind of creative slump. I don't really feel like I want to go forward with. Um, I haven't gotten any recent inspiration for any gaming videos. I am still working on the, the storytelling and video game stuff. Um, that's uh, work that's going on behind the scenes. Um, I also am developing this behind the em or uh, back of the envelope. Uh, series and I've done two of those so far um, when I started doing it I really didn't think it would be a thing but I, I think it would be a cool uh, kind of encapsulated video experience um, anyway it's where uh, we just take some interesting topic and do some uh, back-of-the-envelope calculations to see how well our, our gut instincts line up with reality when we really start to put actual numbers to things um, so it's kind of a, an exercise in estimation, um, but it's also interesting, uh, the topics themselves are interesting. So I've done one of those on um, garbage production, you know, how much garbage do human beings produce, uh, when, where does it go, uh, another one on electric vehicles, and uh, how does their efficiency really compare to uh, traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, and then I've got a third one that um, I've done all the calculations for, but I haven't yet recorded. Uh, which will be all about food production, uh, specifically um, uh, the survival garden idea. How much uh, square footage of, excuse me, of dirt would it take to grow all the food that one person needs in a year? Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, so I'll be recording that one soon. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm working on that. I'm excited about the storytelling video game stuff. I'm working on that. Uh, but it is slow, and in the meantime, I do want to keep uh, putting out regular videos. The last couple of weeks has been pretty slow. Um, <clears throat> so I may try and do some Kerbal Space Program stuff, because it is really fun. It's so cool. I mean, you get to pretend you're an astronaut, and uh, you know that's, that's what I wanted to do when I was a kid, um, by a long shot. And it's still super fascinating and really interesting to me. And this is kind of a vicarious way to 
um, to realize some of those dreams. So, but if I can find a good way to actually put it on video, uh, I may do that. But I'm not really sure how that's going to work. So, um, well, in any case, I'm at 10 minutes. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, this was just a, a chance for me to sit down and think and, and just talk through how things have gone so far. Um, so I will, I'm sure, come back to this, do another one of these sort of uh, reflection videos, maybe when I hit 100 videos, perhaps. Um, or sooner if I, if I feel like it, I suppose. So anybody who is watching this, um, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, please subscribe, uh, go check check out all the other videos um, you know subscribe if you do find stuff there that you like uh, comments are always welcome um, suggestions criticism uh, comments of any sort really um, and uh, of course requests if you think uh, a certain type of video or more of something or whatever would be good uh, please uh, give me suggestions as well so anyway uh, I hope everybody has a great day those of you living in Minnesota um, I know the weather is not ideal for May but uh, we'll make it through I guess somehow so in any case everybody have a great day and I will see you next time